Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Nina and this is Under My Mask and it is time for one of my favourite unboxings that I do every month and have done now for some time. So what is it then? Well it is... It is my flower or my plant, my house plant. I can see something sticking out. It looks very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it up and see what it is. And like I've told you before, it comes in two parts. You get one plant and you've got one flower pot as well. And the I don't choose anything. The plant, uh, the plant and the pot are just delivered every month. It is a surprise every month. And I actually love the fact that it is a surprise because that way I haven't got a clue what's coming. It's like Christmas all over again. So let's start with the plant then, see what it is. It looks hairy. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> I wonder what it can be. Let's open it up. What is this? That is soil in my eye. <laughs> okay. So what is it? That looks funny. Um, okay. Well, oh, they're quite sharp. I get like a palm tree feeling from this. I don't know. Some grass feeling somehow. So let's have a look at what this is because I don't know. I haven't got a clue this time. Normally I can guess a little bit, but not this time. So let's see. Aha! It is called a ponytail palm. Bocarnia recurvata. <laughs> and what does it say about this then? It says, and it looks like that by the way, and it gets bigger, so it's a palm tree. Despite its name, this plant is not a true palm, but in fact a member of the Asparagaceae family. That sounds like asparagus. Oh, fun. It's native to Mexico, so it's used to dry and barren landscape and has the ability to hold water within its trunk. It's long and floppy leaves that grows from the top of the trunk resemble a ponytail. Yeah. Oh, how to keep me happy. I like light bright, indirect light, and can even cope with occasional direct sunlight. This might actually be able to go a little bit closer to the windows than the other ones because my other ones, I'm scared they're gonna dry out in our windows. They're not really suited to put plants in there. They get cold when it's cold outside and they get scorching when it's warm outside so we'll see uh, let me dry out between watering perfect for those new to plant parenthood and they are pet friendly as always because that's the, the package I chose from Beards and Daisy so um, like it but we have one part to go we still got the flower pot let's see what that is Look at that. That is really pretty. And that is... <laughs> oh, we look at that. How good is that? I do like this a lot. And I do hope that I'm not going to kill it in any way because unfortunately some of the other flowers I am struggling a little bit with. But... Uh... <sighs> 
hmm we'll see i think i need to find them new places to live uh i need to find new space around the house where i can put them so that they're happier but we'll see but this one that is gorgeous we're going to find somewhere good for that but this month there's actually something else in the box and i haven't got a clue what that is so i am curious it says seed lip cucumber tonic and like i said i haven't got a clue what it is there is a little paper with it we are a gift for the nature lover what to drink when you're not drinking Seedlip is bringing you a pre-mixed Seedlip Garden 108 and Cucumber Tonic can for you to sit back and enjoy. Best served chilled. So I am guessing then that this is a drink. Wow. That's exciting. A complex herbal blend of individually copper pot distilled homegrown peas hay and traditional english herbs wow distilled non-alcoholic botanical drink canned in england served chilled or with a sugar snap pea over ice well i need to try this don't i for sure That smells, that smells of vegetables. Very much so. Cucumber. Let's have a sip. See what it is. Well, it's not a sweet drink. It's a little bit bitter. But... It's a vegetable drink. It's a clear drink. It's clear liquid. And maybe I should get a glass. Just wait a second. So it's a clear liquid. It looks like this. I can imagine maybe if you put a lemon in or yeah something to make it a little bit more I don't know I need to get kind of the bitter taste off my tongue it is vegetables it you can taste the raw but it's not nasty in any way it's quite fun actually And I can imagine this on a hot summer day, sitting outside, some ice in, this drink, some lemon. That's quite nice. Hmm, that's fun to try that one, huh? So that was the plant for this month, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm also really happy with the pot, you can see. And it was really, really fun to try the drink. So um, I'm looking forward to what next month brings, as always, with these plants. I'm going to show you the other plants as, as I've done before. I'm going to let them pass by here in the end so you can see. And you can also go back and look at all of those videos when I'm unboxing them and uh, reading on the cards. So um, thank you for watching this time. And uh, I hope you'll be back. And I hope you will watch my other videos, my unboxings and my somewhat weight loss journey and um let me know what you think you had one of these before until then take care guys and make sure you're safe out there bye